Meta has an option that can kill, can destroy your conversion measurement. The problem is that they recommend to have this option turned on without explaining when this should happen. And more importantly, when this should not happen. If you use WooCommerce, if you use Shopify, this is a video that you must watch. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site, but this video is not about Pixel Your Site only. It's about uh, any website that has a meta pixel integration done with Facebook for WooCommerce, for WooCommerce uh, websites, Pixel Your Site, sometimes Google Tag Manager, Shopify with the native integration with Meta. If you have such a website, this option should never be turned on. I'm referring to automatic events without code. You can find it here in your settings, Meta Event Manager, scroll and somewhere here, track events automatically without code. Make sure this is turned off. Why? With this option turned on, Meta will try to guess when you have an event. So you don't configure events manually. Their um, script tracks the data on the website. At, at some point they will say, okay, this particular action looks like uh, an add to cart. And they will try to fire an add to cart. This particular action looks like a purchase event. And they will try to fire a purchase event. But if you use Pixel Your Site, if you use Facebook for WooCommerce, if you use the native Shopify uh, meta integration, you already have those events fired correctly on the website when the actual action takes place. In our case, for WooCommerce transactions, we fire a purchase event when the transaction is completed. And this event has a lot of parameters. This event has a value, has purchase, but has also product type and more importantly, product ID. And with the product ID, you can do dynamic ads. Meta now changed the name to something like uh, advanced catalog ads, I think. This is the, the retargeting that you do when someone um, lands on a product, they don't buy it, and then they see ads for that product until they buy the product. This is uh, done using uh, product IDs and the product catalog. And these events fired by Meta automatically don't have the product ID because they cannot find it on the page. This is something you have in the database and Pixel Your Site is able to retrieve, uh, Facebook for WooCommerce is able to retrieve, uh, Shopify native integration with Meta, of course, can um, have it. Another thing, these events are browser only, tag only. They don't work uh, using Meta conversion API. Uh, for WooCommerce, these events are not even fired correctly. They are fired on the checkout page when the place or the button is clicked. Only that is the trigger. So if the form is not uh, completed, you will not place the order for some reason. You still have an event. You click again, another event. You click again, another event, and so on. So you can end up with four transactions, a real transaction on your website, and 10 purchases events on Meta. And then, because you use Pixel Your Site or because you use Facebook for WooCommerce on Shopify, because you use the native integration, you will also have the correct event fired when the transaction takes place. So a lot of events will get fired for a single transaction. That is why you should never ever keep this option on if you have a proper integration for the Metapixel and for Conversion API. When you should use it? Only if you are not able to fire events by other means. Even if you don't use WooCommerce, you should not have this option on because the easiest way, for example, on WordPress to configure events is by using our events tool from here. So if you are a Pixel Your Site user, configure events from here, add new, use the triggers. 
these events will work with the tag and with conversion API. So a lot better. We are able to optimize a lot of things and track a lot of data. You will have a better EMQ score and so on. So uh, again, if you have a Pixelier site installed, don't have this on. If you have other means to configure events, uh, don't have this turned on. If for some reason you cannot edit your code, you the only thing that you can add on the website is the basic pixel code. Okay, maybe you should have this on, but otherwise don't use it. And there is also a, a bug that Meta has some websites are affected, some, no websites, some pixel IDs are affected. This was a bug that Meta was supposed to fix like a long, a long time ago, maybe one or more years, more than a year, I don't know. Um, the, the, the option is off, but those events are still fired. And I, I still see it from time to time. And the only solution is to replace the pixel ID. Uh, Meta support is not able to fix it. Uh, for some reason, they, I don't know, they, they still have it for a very limited number of pixels. And um, if repl replacing the pixel ID is possible, that's the solution. Otherwise, those events will keep coming and uh, be fired, even with this option turned off. And um, detecting those events is very easy, especially if you are what you if you use our solution pixel your site uh, our events have a very large number of parameters i mean a lot of parameters meta's own events don't have those parameters this is an event from us as you can see it has a lot of parameters you can use them for uh, dynamic ads catalog advanced ads or to create custom audiences uh, meta automatic events will have very very few parameters for um, WooCommerce events I noticed that they only have value and currency all the other parameters are missing and our events have a, a very um, clear parameter plugin pixel your site so it's easy to see the if the event comes from our plugin or from something else in this case, it will not have this parameter uh, and you will know that something else triggers the event. Make sure is not this option. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. Share this video, like it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.